Okay guys, hello hello and welcome back. So, as you know, the update came out, so the plan today is, well... First off, we're gonna upgrade, uh, Sinclair's ego all, or Sinclair's ID all the way, right? Then, you know, get the story from that, and then the plan, we're gonna do the event, man. Anyways, it's uptime. Depending on how much um, Uptime 4 improves, we might do it. We might upgrade him once more as well. If you remember Philip from Philip from Library of Runa, he well you do too boy. You know, you could try different kinds of tea once in a while. Is my Sengwa Cha Sengwa Sha really that delicious? Master answers teasingly as though I uh, I was asking him the most obvious question in the world. My Sion Bay will be back from a contract soon. So I opened the window wide for her return. Is it Philip? If I no, he's Philip. Ah, can't remember. See, I just mainly remember he's an old man, and he has a lot of pure, and he's pure um, Yeah, he's pure yeah. Sion Bay said she'll just be making a quick stop at the workshop, though I don't suppose she'll be long. Days without contracts were always so peaceful. Chatting about the day-to-day -day goings on with my master while sipping on a cup of sing wash sha. Worrying about our next month's rent with my Sion Bay. Who should be here any minute? It was a warm and gentle hour, not unlike the cold dawn of our office's namesake. Ah. Cold dawn office. Yeah, I haven't played Library of Runa in so long, man. I enjoyed that hour. Wait, is this going to be re related to them going into the library? Maybe, right, maybe. I was making decent progress as a fixer, too. Under the skillful guidance of my master, I learned the basics of being a fixer. Things I should know if I was really serious about working in this field. And the tricks of using Stigma Workshop's weapons. Whichever contract we picked up, we managed. It was mostly thanks to my master and Sion Bay's excellent skills, but still. Results begot recognition, and I naturally rose through the fixer ranks. A proof that I was slowly bettering myself. But... Didn't really get to do anything in this contract either. My master was once a prominent fixer during the Smoke War. I, Sion Bay, once took care of an urban legend contract all on, her, all on her own. Between these two giants of our dawn office, my earnest efforts amounted to nothing but a struggle not to fall behind. The two of them always assured me that I wasn't useless, that I was helpful. But all that reassurance rang hollow. We got the invitation. It's that urban plague, the library, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, technically, actually, Dawn Office should be back. Because, you know, we, we got them in the book, but then we released all the books, so I mean, technically, actually, they should be free. Philip, on the other hand, well, I don't know. Will I be going with you? Am I even going to be of any help to you two there? My self-doubt grew with no end. And with it, my faith in the two of them did as well. Too much. I guess I won't have to do much more than provide them with some basic support. The face that the two of them had this in the bag, that I, that I wasn't really that necessary. And with such shallow, selfish presumption, I walked into the library, yeah, my master, who was so worried about me to the end. My Sion Bay, who refused to blame me for anything, nor show any fear in the face of the end. Even fixes of the affiliate office who offered me help. All were vanquished by the library, each and every one of them turned into a book. Everyone I'd grown so used to always being there for me were gone. I alone survived. Yeah. <sighs> I consider if there's any point in me going back in there to fight them. The fabricated heart isn't so bad. No, that, that can't be. I consider escaping, reporting everything I've seen here to an association, and then asking them for help. That would be the most logical thing to do, right? You, you, you're, you're right. No one really understood my true feelings. 
We're only talking to Carmen. Fear grips me. It holds me back from moving on. I slowly retreat. Will this path really br will this path really bring me nothing but suffering? A beautiful voice whisper a beautiful voice whispers comfort in my ears as every withdrawing step I take. Then all of a sudden I begin to wonder if everything I'd ever done were nothing more than self serving justifications. And with it comes the inkling of an understanding that I, that I will never be able to forge on so long as I continue protecting and embellishing myself with the shield of others. <laughs> that the right path is the honest forward path, not the staggering retreat disguised as selflessness. I accept that I wasn't even on a righteous path. That I am a squalid, hideous person. I admit it. I admit that I am as uncaring and selfish as any other city dweller. And I cease my retreat. If I were to close my heart to everyone else, turn my back on them, could I truly love myself more? I don't know, I'm just... I just don't know. Shield my eyes from apprehension. Plug my ears from the beautiful voice. Shut my mouth from the lies that I do this out of altruism. Shut my mouth from the lies that I do this out of altruism. I convince myself that the unembellished reality is no more heartless than my self-serving daydreams. And turn to face the battlefield I had fled from. How unfortunate. The child failed to reveal his true self. He even fell short of full self-restraint. No one's going to cry on behalf of my sorrow. At the end of the day, this pain is my responsibility to bear. Because it is an undelible... Because it is an undelible stigma. If only the child gave greater care to his own emotions. He faced his feelings and all of its hellish flames and honed it all into a form of a tool. The child failed to reach his pure self. Instead, he remained the form of a human and erected the tip of his sword against his, en against his enemies. And that's okay. I once knew a child who was very much like him. A child who, even for a fleeting moment, reached the apex. That child also adored me for the first time only to lend me his ears later. They are very similar to one another, so I suppose a similar end shall await this one at the end of his pass. Carmen. The child will eventually give up on forging onward, and he will retreat once again. You're wrong, Miss Carmen. Well, yeah, straight up, sure. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid that I want to let go of this blade and flee this place at this very moment. But I don't want to linger her any longer. I don't want to linger here any longer. But that path is such a painful one to walk. I wish that he wouldn't subject himself to such suffering. The child, now freed from his shell, dangerously attempts to reach for the heavens when he has but a lone wing. Not knowing that his shaky consciousness was the only thing keeping his wing intact in the flames that devoured his emotions as fuel. He confidently regards the children of the library his sword arm outstretched to meet their reception. His feeling, his destiny bestowed upon me. I have to soar. I will break this shell that stands in my way. I'll break it all together and soar to a higher place. How long will it be until that solitary wing of vanity melts into nothingness under the cascading emotions? There is no way to know for now. But on the day of your wings melting, on the day of your fall, Heed my words once again, dear child. Wings melting, so like Icarus, maybe. Make you think of that at least. Mm. I mean, this is actually pretty good, eh? Yeah, whatever, fine. We'll do it. I do plan on using him for the event here, huh? I guess MT did something special here or whatever. Anyways, let's begin the suppression, eh? Hey? Oh, wow. Uh, let's do it here, eh? Hey? Uh, ah. <laughs> Pretty cool. If you watch my stuff, you know what happens here. I tried doing voices, no. Nope. Good or bad, mm, not bad, but it is what it is, hey. Mm. Uh, well, 
How is this green light still green, huh? Another unexpected alarm. But we all react with measured astonishment, as we'd all grown rather used to the randomness of it all. It is unlikely that it has completely evaded the influence of T Corp singularity. However, it can be said that this partial retention of color may be attributed to the fact that Walpurgis Night is a transitory moment in which numerous possibilities coincide. Makes sense, yeah. Helps nonchalantly walking up. Helps nonchalantly walks up to the driver's seat and shutting. and shuts off the alarm. Oh, no. No, just returned the ball, purple, 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 whatever night. Don Quixote and her eyes that begin twinkling at the smallest bit of diversion after another long period of idle standby. It's all just become a part of the routine. Even mysterious things like these Walpurgis knife. Oh. Oh. An additional volatility. Aside from the Walpurgis knife has been detected. The dungeon A. An additional volatility. Indeed. The entrance to a new mirror dungeon has opened. Oh yeah, that. Heathcliff mutters quietly as he rises from his seat. I thought it was about time we got a new one. It happens every time we go through the bloody wet ringer. Didn't expect it to appear with green flashes, though. His cliff likely struck the end of his club against the floor in visible anticipation. The word that was once engraved into his club had changed. Remember. Ah, from revenge to remember, eh? A few days ago, I saw him sitting at the back of the bus. Busily sanding and carving something into his club. I didn't have to ask to know what he meant. I didn't have to ask to know what he meant by that new word. So, yeah, no one else remembers Cassie. Cassie, I know. I decided not to bring. I decided to not bring it up to anyone else. Only Heathcliff and I retained that memory. After all, thought I was going mad from tedium. Come on, let's go bash some sods. <clears throat> ah. Mm. How nice. I like seeing some initiative from the thinners, Miss Faust. Indeed. Let us move without delay. Okay. Bring us to the corridor past the back door. Got it. I tried my best to suppress the I tried my best to suppress this uncomfort mm. I tried my best to suppress this uncomfortable feeling I had about Heathcliff's newfound enthusiasm. Something was off about it. Like it wasn't just some optimistic passion. But I led the sinners to the back door anyway. Two types of doors at once saw. Two new sets of doors that just as Faust had predicted. One set of doors was as they expected. Two metal doors resonant with the sound of weathering gusts and new mirror dungeon. And the other set of doors was... Are these... Are these paper... It's all sparkly. It was an unfamiliar door, radiating with an odd gleam of light. The library, ain't it? Look at that, yeah, library, definitely. Technically, we did see the weird radio frequency like squiggly lines around the door before, but everything else about it was new. Oh my gosh, hi. I guess this one doesn't connect to the Robotomy Corporation like the last one did. Mm, weird. I think I'm hearing... Is that jazz? Oh, is this even a door? It's more like a window than a door, ain't it? Right. This new entrance definitely resembled a large window rather than a door. The window was blurry, and all I could see past it were some globs of shapes moving about. There appear to be several shambling entities past the entrance. Faust seemed to have realized something, but she didn't tell us what it was. Instead, she merely looked in my direction without saying a word. I'm starting to get what she means by that look. Guess I'll have to get in there to see what this is all about, right Faust? You are experiencing regular growth and capabilities. Faust, in Faust considers this to be a positive development. Hmm, yeah. 
A field of green and a wall of tall Greek trees appear before us as we enter the door. But at this point, it'll take a bit more than this to surprise us. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, it's so nice to have our cutters back for once, huh? Quiet. Uh, quiet. There's an abnormality. So these things were what we saw past the window earlier. We are yet to be discovered. I recommend that we prepare for combat, manager. This time, the sinners didn't need... This time, the sinners didn't need me to tell them what its nature was. It was pretty evident from the get-go that we'd be facing off against an abnormality. By the looks of it, they stood on standby ready to charge into battle at my command. But, it's a bit different this time. So, Faust, I'm starting to get the hang of this Walpurgis Knight thing and... Please, please, do continue. I think there's something different about these abnormalities. Can you explain why? Considering the nature of abnormalities, every encounter with an abnormality would be equivalent to an encounter with a summoned entity. Nevertheless, there exists a certain degree of difference when we encounter them in a refraction railway or a mere dungeon. That is to say... We enter a site once known as a library. A building that inexplicably appeared above the former Elcorp headquarters. And this exact location is said to be a space that exists within a book in which the abnormalities resides. Oh yeah, when we use a page, eh? You get some power from it. <laughs> the library. Where have I heard that term before? Some senators talked about it, that's for sure. Quite. Yet this space is fairly distinct from the containment unit. We had witnessed a four at one of the branches. It appears as though an ideal habitat has been established precisely for that abnormality's residence. A rather striking difference from the very limited space and unaccommodating and on an unaccommodating environment provided by the containment unit. Yes, you may compare this place to a terrarium. The abnormalities, the abnormality inhabiting, this place has transformed its environs to a form most suitable for its dwelling. Here are some comparisons that may make it easier for one to comprehend. A fish would fill this space with water, and a worm would fill this space with soil. Mm. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, hi. Gotcha. So as long as the abnormality exists within this book, it can deck this place out with whatever fits its fancy, huh? It would be more accurate to say that, uh, that an abnormality, once outside the confines of the Cliffhaw's turns, can rebuild its environment to fit its needs. Well, that's kind of like free housing, huh? That's one. Don Quixote, who was standing rather far from the group, who was made aware of these... Revelations only after result had relayed them to her. Oh no. Book, book, our journey has brought us inside a book, thou sayest? This is the library of legend that vanished like a mirage for truth. Oh, you know. <laughs> ah, suddenly, suddenly blew up with explosive enthusiasm once again. I will add a preamble in the future to prevent such outbursts. Yeah. I will add preamble in the future to prevent such outbursts. The enemies have detected us, Executive Manager. <sighs> the enemies have detected us, Executive Manager. Yeah. Let's get this over with first. Yep. Now, we'll see what Philip does, hey? Uh, it's pretty read though, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Double A, nice. Let's see though, I want to check him. Okay, yeah. Quick burn. Uh, I mean, it's kind of okay, this one. Decent attack for burn to get up clash power. Hmm. <laughs> Blazing strike instead, which is, uh. 30, oh, okay, yeah. Uh. 
Yeah. Okay, sure. Only neutral, eh? Oh, let's use the opportunity then, eh? Do whatever favorite we can for now. Neutral again. That's fine. See so if it is for burn, right? So if I can actually start off with this here, actually. We do that right away, so then it attacks. And then it should be fine. Okay, then we get the point power up. Or, I mean, uh... Burn. Dark Flame doesn't help too much here. Let's see, who? what's the most uh, weak part? Uh, definitely the arms are weaker. I think I want to put Burn on the body. King attack here, hopefully we're fine. Probably not, though. And they sure have a lot of bleed. Kind of worrisome. Eh, yeah, whatever. Buy all the burn on the body, and that should make it decent here, huh? Hopefully. Yeah, I can't expect to lose this here, though. It's not too bad. The bleed's kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do? I'm fishing the blood, and that's annoying. Do they have four burn? But what? Why didn't that burn? That was gonna add burn, it didn't add burn. 45 no. That was up. I don't remember that. Yeah, I know we're taking some damage. Oh. The target has burn. Hmm. Only favorite, eh? Wait. Hey, what happened to all my sanity? Hey, 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 where did all my sanity go? Wait, what? Why did I lose all my sanity here? Uh, I'm, gonna lose, I'm gonna be losing a lot if I lose it. Ugh. Yikes. How do I lose sanity here? Oh. Mm. Kill these guys and kill the core, eh? I'm gonna be careful about that. Favored, there we go. Now we're gonna. We're targeting Hand right now, right? I don't know where all my sanity went. Wait. If this unit has a defense skill, change a combat start and inflict one burden per hit against the attacker for the turn. Where'd all my SP go? Wait. Did I mess it up? Wait, wait, wait. Passive, I need to read the passive here. Ah. At 45 SP, consume 35 SP to enter the volatile Eagle Wax and Pinion state, huh? So now I just kind of lose my SP. You know, well, whatever. Oh, let's continue burning. Hopefully it works. Hopefully, because if it doesn't work, we're hurting bad. Sanity, where'd you go? Okay, please win. Thank you. I could have gone so bad. I'm already in the state, though. I'm not gonna, like... Continuously lose sanity, right? What do you do? You could have won. 
Don't fail me, please. Thank you, Hoshi. I knew you could do it. Did you get a lot of burn? Okay, now we don't lose my sanity. Perfect. I'm gonna have it. I think if I already have it, I don't lose it, so it's kind of like you have to get to it twice. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, is there like, is it all on the body? All over? Yeah, I'm in the red arm. It's really the red arm here, huh? Isn't it gonna eat them if I uh, mess up a little? Ooh. I gained a speed, perfect. If they were surviving out of the 25% each or less HP, kill all allies, huh? So don't try and kill them, gotcha. Okay, yeah, ah, uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I have garbage skills right now. Doesn't help. Yeah. Let's get some more on the right arm. Mm. Should be fine. Get so much burn on there, should be decent. Fifth favor, this should be fine as long as I have a bit of luck. No luck, you might have a problem. I don't really want to do that. But I don't want to, I don't want to get hit. Mm -hmm. Bad rolls here, huh? Whatever. Favorite, I'm gonna trust it. And if it don't work, it's really bad. Basically how it's gonna go. If it don't work, really bad. If it works, great. It's just like, really ever clash. You can't even clash. Nah, just too bad at clashing. No point in letting him clash here. I knew you could do it! I knew you could do it! Don't worry, you get plus 10 anyway, so you'll be fine. Hopefully fine, I don't really know. Yeah, it's gonna be 30. Hey, there we go, more burn. I still don't want to touch the other guys, I'm touching them as, a, as little as possible here. Oh no. Oh, oh, nice. I don't want to kill them. Hmm. These tiny guys heal. Ah, that's why they do heal. So it's fine, I don't need to worry about stuff. Good. The worlds do feel kind of weak though, man. Actually, I'm still in my volatile state. Huh. Turn it loose three times five. I, I, I heal 15 now to turn start. But uh, how do I like lose my volatile ego state? Because right now it's just going to keep making me lose sanity, right? In Volatile Passion, yeah. Turn and lose number of turns spent in Volatile Ego State. I'm thinking it's like 40. I think it's nice. wow. When the number one scenery to be deployed had set, it's like this one burn. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it seems kind of problematic. 
Where's the burn one, by the way? Just, uh... Where's the burn? Dark things there. Well, kind of these guys hit, so... Yeah. So we're gonna be losing more and more sanity. This guy seems, uh... You know, maybe a bit more difficult to deal with. Which I'd rather do one that has, like, uh... I mean, effective to that, but I'd rather not let it hit, you know. We'll do that, it's fine. Then that, and then, uh... Let's attack it on Lu, wow. It's fine. Wait, how much damage is he doing? Nope. Scratch that. <laughs> There's no good way I'm doing that. I learned what I gotta do and I'm not gonna mess it up. The right arm has 42 and 12, you know. Might as well stack it on the arm, right? I think it's very smarter too. Then he healed my little hit. I mean, too, if you're only 10 HP, it's fine. Much preferable to, uh, option. Getting too low. I don't know, this doesn't feel... I don't know if it feels great. Or well, whatever. Like, don't get me wrong, this stuff feels pretty good here. You can use, like, look at all the SP you lose, like. You just lose so much SP. <laughs> so, I kind of problem. Problem, man. <laughs> man, and having to deal with the guy in front is also like an annoying. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he just heals himself, then. That's not too bad. There we go. Or burn. Hmm. My sanity's still there, but now I lose... Now I lose 20 SP every turn, huh? Does he want me to? Does it want me to corrode or something? Like, man, uh. Two burn on target. Get max 20, holy crap. But like, you lose a B in like everything here, man. I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, like, you get burned, don't get me wrong, you get a lot to burn, but. I just don't know. Yeah, please heal yourself, man. You got burn. Oh man, I might need to restart this, huh? If we get that burn on, it might go very bad. Didn't you guys have a dodge? Bye bye sanity! I can't allow that, man. I, I can't. You never start eating? We're in for a big pickle here. It's enormous pickle. I guess if they're low enough, we can stagger. Which could work. Yep. There it healed itself at least a bit. Yeah, 
Oh, no, that's what I was worried about. Uh, that's what I was worried about. Dominating. So it's power plus 10. Uh, it's a defense level minus 2. Oh. That's a pleasant surprise. Is it bait? Did I miss it a bad? <laughs> also, what's uh, his passive here? More burn. This unit fix plus one more burn. Potency and count with its skills. Activate six times per turn. When in the volatile ego state, then add zero plus SP gain coin power plus SP divided by 20. And 45 gain. Yeah. yeah, plus two, sure. No one got needed, at least, eh? There you go! Bye bye, Sanity! It's almost dead. Mm, probably a turn count that I had to go by. Not sure if I'm gonna get the turn count. I can kill it here though. Should be fine. Yep. Oh. There is a power up. It's 45. It makes the character lose too much SP, man. It, 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 it's too much. Wrath, Resin, no. So they have a Wrath, Resin, but it should be able to kill here. Should be able to. There we go, oh, minus 30. <laughs> the pressure of Fairy Festival complete. Now it was way harder than I expected. Yeah. Last explained that we find ourselves in the library's past. We are participating in a certain repeated battle within the library. Its purpose was to attain something called the realization of the floor of history. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, I don't understand most of what you said. Floor of history, huh? Are there other floors, too? That appears to be the case, yes. It can be extrapolated from the collected intelligence that the library is. Like some normal libraries, composed of several floors divided by subjects such as literature or religion. Doesn't sound too different from your average library, but I doubt it's that straightforward. Anything more you can tell us about that library, Faust? Something more detailed? Um... Faust's voice carries an air of troubled uncertainty. And I'm starting to realize why. So you don't know about that just yet, right? I see that you have intuited a certain degree of truth, Dante. I don't suppose there is any more reason for me to remain evasive regarding this particular subject. I was stood out of barely noticeable, but clearly shocked, yes, before regaining her usual calm demeanor. Yes, I am yet to become a Faust who has access to that information. Yet to become. <laughs> As your journey continues, I may also gradually gain recognition and access to further knowledge. One thing is certain, however. Faust regards this consistent, continuous improvement to be a, a, posit a positive development, Dante. I see. The longer my journey, the greater her knowledge. Huh. Maybe that explains why she kept falling silent in the middle of her lectures. Huh. I have no idea how long this journey will last for, but... Who knows, maybe we'll find ourselves at that library one day. Ooh, foreshadowing. Nice, I like it. With that, I return to the sinners wandering about the scattered pages of the abnormality. And now the hard one, which is gonna be problematic. I could do a gloom I could do my gloom team if I really wanted to win. 
돌아가면 저번처럼 홈 파티라도 할까요? That was a certainly perfect victory. How about we throw a house party like we did last time, eh? Well, I need to be with damage. Okay, yeah. Uh, defeat the fairy queen with burn, bleed, rupture, or sinking damage in a single encounter. Uh. Oh, this would do the stuff, eh? There it is. Now, hopefully, that worked. I don't know if it worked or not, it should work. Because we killed it with thinking, with uh, thinking there, right? I did beat it with thinking damage, uh, guess I gotta do burn. Okay, sure. No! Okay. Oh, Go again. I think I knew it is, but to be fair, I should eat the other guy. And then shoot me too bad. Eh, yeah, I said it depends on who it hits, man. It's like, it likes to. Yeah, it avoids. It always like the avoids the one that I need to actually hit. Sixty-eight. No. 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 Two seventy-nine. I can't calculate. This is so under bullcrap, man. This, this this one sucks, man. One more time, then I'm giving up. Now, 131. Plus 161, right? Yeah, plus 161. Plus uh, 30, let's say, 332. Plus uh, 64. 64. Plus 64. That should do it. Should. The love of all the Tony, please do it. Okay, it's fine, shield. I actually prefer the shield here. Ooh, that's gonna be bad. And 17. Please. Please. Oh. Oh. Burn. That was a burn. Okay, we did it. Holy hitting crap. Better count. Okay, well, do the, do the rest later, holy crap. Okay guys, we're back now. Y'all are gonna know, cause I... Could be skipped on, but man. It took heckin' an hour and a half to get the last mission on easy, and now we're going hard. And then we're doing the mirror dungeon. Don't know when, might be today, might be tomorrow, but for you, same day. And we're here. We're gonna heckin' continue. Stupid burn team is gonna burn enough, hopefully. Uh. Anyways, we'll see how it goes first. If it goes bad, well. What that? Oh. Take three. It's your own. Now you gain number of allies defeated. I'm free. Attack power down and defense power down. Oh. Do they still have that very bad passive? Hunger. Mm. Let's see, what does hunger do? Ah. Yeah, we need to get a defense level down, eh? We 
get stronger. And I'll like four hunger, gotcha. Okay, now. Oh, I didn't get buffed. Pretty sure you got buffed um, from last time we did. Oh, the less, yeah. Mm. It's the same, but uh, I remember someone saying you got, you got buffed or whatever. Favor, the ticket. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna need to die and hit him up next. Okay, and with your uh. Neutral, which are luck. You know, like maybe. Literally hit low. Possibility zone. I think we go for that instead. And this one does this one instead. Then we. I think we gain the burn on him, actually, yeah. Middle, gotcha. So yeah, we might get unlucky, it might not work. But we can hope, we can hope. Oh, then we'll, then we'll slowly learn the passives and how bad we're gonna get screwed. Oh no, my sanity goes by by now. First time these guys, they, they don't do more damage. If they did, oh boy, we would be heckin' screwed. Why do you use that red? Isn't that, isn't that a good ability? Yeah, well, I've been learning. <sighs> there goes my sanity again. Oh, wow. Let's get final power plus one. I gotta kill this one. This one must die. <laughs> It must die. <laughs> Make sure it dies we can, um... Yeah, that works. Although, maybe we should put some sanity gain identities as well. I know we gotta do it. We are landed later. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully they're in the same faction, I kind of hope. I can make it work. Uh, let's see though. Sandy God attacks these no matter what. Let's see here. After you have eight. Ethan, Ethan, okay. Body is some as well. Let's get wing for hand. Never mind. There we go. Hopefully that kills, because I don't want it to change an attack pattern really at all. Like at all at all. Heads please. Can stagger, oh no. He does get staggered here, but... His attack pattern is going to change. So I'm kind of worried. And how bad the attack pattern is going to be. Cause it could be really bad. You can't stop using all my sanity. Please. At least we can double double burn here, so it should be 20, right? Yep, there it is. Hate to rate one. I hate to rate one, phew. Let's make sure we have the right ones here. Left arm is 22-7. Body is 11-8. It's fine. Oh wait, this is the right arm. The right arm has, uh... Nothing. That's kind of sad. I guess he's going to Rampage still.
Hmm. I don't think it's doing the bad one. Yeah. That's good to see. I was worried it would be doing the bad one. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. We have that one come attacking there. We can have this one attacking here. I mean, like, you know, tear him down slowly. Mind's insanity, it's whatever. More dark flame. Honestly, I'd rather... That works. Oh. I mean, it shouldn't do that much damage, right? Should, I'm pretty sure it's uh, resistant to blunt. Yeah. So it should be fine, hopefully. Put it up, get. Okay, that was almost bad. I thought it failed me, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> up the burn, up the burn. Just keep on up in the burn until hopefully we get him. I still gotta kill him with a burn though, man. Ugh, that's gonna be annoying. Should be fine. See, perfectly fine. Ugh, we had hoped. Wait, 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 no one was low. Who did devour? Hey, left hand to back up. Good, never mind. Right arm has nothing on it. I mean, just have a fence level down. That's about it, though. Oh, okay, if I do that, it's gonna hurt. See, if I do that, it hurts bad. Oh. Dominating good. We want to ensure it dies, right? At least I'm pretty sure we do. No, my sanity is gonna go. It's gonna take a bit of a deep dive here. Just a wee bit. It's gonna be fine, not really. <laughs> I don't know who it hit. It hit one. Oh, it hit one. Cool. Don't stagger, don't you dare. David? I mean, it's working, huh? Let's see, body has... Don't like standing loose here, body has it. Yeah, right arm could use a bit more. Yeah, right arm could use a bit more here. Body is some, body's pretty fine here. Um, I'm thinking of worried. I think going into a rampage, right? After defeating an ally, heal 20 core HP. Gain one fragile. Gain one hunger. Gain two. And gain three. It's not like you fall allies are defeated here, huh? Oh yeah, you don't have to worry about killing them now. Huh. Sure, we take it. I mean, last time I was all worried about it, but hey. This time seems to be fine. Hmm, how much hunger does he have? Zero. We're fine. Gain. It's like over down. Yep. So it all works out. Now I can do this without having to worry, yay. Burn, burn count. Nah, no, we'll keep it for now. We can ignore that one, should be fine. Should be. And we still, we still have our bullets as well. Oh man, give her to that. Don't need that. 
<laughs> but the sanity. <laughs> I do need to have some health if that will gain sanity though. What do you do? We have 125 here. Not too bad, not too bad. I just need to do 300 a day. Those only inflict, inflict bleed, so we can't ignore them. We definitely ignore them. As long as we get the amount that we need. 104, sure. 104, then we get, uh... 108, plus 104, we get 212, 212, sure. 212, and then, uh... 12 plus 93, 300, 305, 305, 305, and then those ones here, 305, are going to get 300 and, uh, 325, 331. 31 and then we get an action addition there because it's gonna be going twice at least most likely 321 and then we get from 221 we get what do we get 321 and we get or take some time 321 becomes 347 347 there we go i should do it then we just, uh, ignore those and they don't do anything, and block that. I don't think right. Yep, good. As long as it does the right amount of damage, it's headed to doom, we're fine. That's more of a kind of screwed. be fine. There we go. No! No. Honestly, that was easier though, huh? Wait. Do you not need to care about prepared meal at all? The Cherry Queen defeat X plus Fairy Mass within a single turn of a single encounter. Ah, I can probably do that. And then I just need to, uh, let's see here. Let's see what I need to do here. I need to, uh, defeat 10 Fairy Masses, sure. Three in a single turn. Don't need the queen to defeat any fairy masses, uh. Any, huh. Yeah, I think I know how to do any. If I go my thinking team here. Okay. Now. What we have here is, uh. 25, 21. Now we just do 25 times 21. 25 times 21 here, we get 525. He has, how much else did he have? 193. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do here? End. Is this here. There we go. What crap, I got him. Lock that. Uh, you can't really let that happen. Hmm. I mean, this shouldn't kill. I don't want to risk it either. Uh. Hmm. Because he heals each time, so I can't allow it to heal. Is it, uh, it's the Pierce? I don't know what a Pierce say. 
Normal to peers. How much damage is it? No, oh, 60. Even like on a week. Yeah, we're fine. Just make sure right arm. The right one. Right arm. Good. Right arm. There we go. Actually, it's going to be sinking the luge at the end, right? We'll switch it out here. I have a plan. This one's blunt. Blunt did even less damage, right? Yeah, the effective the blunt. Therefore, normally D47. Wasn't 100%. And it's 200% right, so it should be even less. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, that one might stagger, I got him. Block that. That one staggers my character, I'm screwed. There we go, perfect. And now that. How much damage is this? 90. Let's do 90 damage here. Shouldn't kill. Shouldn't kill. Do 90 damage. 93. And I was not doing 100. Good. Okay, with this out of the way. We should have it here. I didn't take bleed into account. Oh no. Shouldn't be a lot of damage though. Okay, 19. 19 fine. I'm 16. Yep, we're fine. One, one, two, and the luge. There we go. Now, I'm curious if that counts, because to be fair, thinking the luge should be counting as killing it by thinking, right? It counts as killed by thinking, I don't know if it does. Good, it did count, great. Now we just gotta do uh let Fairy Queen defeat a fairy mass in a single encounter. Ten fairy masses, uh defeat X plus fairy masses in a single encounter. So three at the same time we can do that. Library in the history defeats X plus abnormalities with a single attack skill. Hmm. Not close enough to stagger in crap. No. No, man. Claire. I'll bet one down. No, you have left. Oh, you have left. Librarian of history. We take them around with within the sink with a single attack. Just three in a single attack. Where else do I do this here? There, no, hopefully it uh with these. Now I gotta really, really, really hope it lands and kills them all. Two kill. This is the final bullet. <laughs> this is the final bullet. It's pleased. Can they kill them all? That should work. I'm pretty sure she killed them all. Please work, please work. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. Oh, there we go. And, well... Let's hope we done later. So, 
left Mirror Dungeon later. And I'll see you later. If you have a good one, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.